Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sarnet Television. I want to have a quick word in your ear if I may. We've recently received some brochures from a variety of different companies that are indicating that they can offer services of lighting product that are not necessarily lighting product from the manufacturers which the product looks like. In other words, what I'm talking about are essentially knockoffs. And it's a problem, and it's a problem that's growing in the industry. And I wanted to take a moment of your time, and I know your time is precious, to talk a little bit about this. Now, it's a little controversial. I'm not going to deny that. And I'm also going to say very clearly and upfront that globalism is here to stay. And many companies around the world are making fantastic product, and those products are, in fact, legitimate. They've got their own engineering department. They've got their own technical development department and they're putting the product together. They're patenting it, they're testing it, and they're bringing it to market. And I can only but applaud them for their efforts. No questions about that. But unfortunately, there are other companies out there that obtain product from a variety of sources, copy that product, and then in turn try to put it into the market. I'm not talking, by the way, just about the market in the United States. This problem is prevalent in Europe, in Canada, in South America, in Australia, and in New Zealand. And one of the factors that are going on is that this equipment is now getting into the class one, the emergency service aspect of the business. So what you have is you have a fire truck or an ambulance responding to a call that may inadvertently be using substandard equipment. So I ask you that when you're buying something, if the price is too good to be true, it usually means it's too good to be true. Take a close look at the product you're buying. If you're not sure, ask them. Is this a given manufacturer's product? Right now in the United States, there's about 30,000 people actively involved in the emergency service product development market. These are men and women. They've got kids. They go to school. They pay taxes. Those taxes help support the emergency services that respond to their homes. They also work with utility companies, aerospace companies. Do you want to get on an aircraft, a boat, a plane that has substandard parts? You may want to think about it. So again, please, think carefully before you buy. Is the product legit? If it's not, don't buy it. I'm Stuart, and you've been watching Sarna Television.